Hello everybody. This is my new saline compressor. I built that uh, recently, probably less than a month. Well, what I did was I bought a used compressor with a broken gasket and the Sony cost 20 bucks. Then I swap with the fridge compressor. This is the original motor Craftsman compressor, and this is the switch and the check valve. All of these are broken already, so that is no good, and this is also no good. So I replaced the no switch and the check valve on the other side I put two filters it looks to me like uh, these two these two intakes uh, function the same way so it's not a bad idea I just put the filter on both of this intake the filter is uh, I just made it my own with the out of uh, PVC pipe so it's just like this PVC pipe and uh, put the hole and small pipe inside it and so when I need to replace the filter all I need to do is just replace this piece here there you go and put something new back in when I need it too so these two basically it's like a, the same function so it's like a for air coming in to the compressor so not much different okay uh, I cut the top so I can pull this off and, um, so I can uh, check the oil or oh, and inside by pulling this off and uh, take it off and this is the the rubber uh, rubber belt from a vacuum or something and I put this on here make sure it's uh, uh, it's not gonna have an vibration and uh, the air it's not gonna go in too much Okay, let's uh, plug it in, see how it sounds like. That's how, how loud it is. You probably can hear it. The thing is... Uh, three gallon tank so it kind of slow a little bit I solder this here so I'll make it nice so I can use the copper, copper tubing also instead of the rubber hose because the rubber hose won't last very long There's the check valve, the new one. I put this to replace this one here. This one is uh, no good. It's, uh, the spring inside is kind of worn out. 
So I'm putting a nice couple to be good. And then this is new and all this new and this is old but it's uh, heavy duty it's good these two from Harbor Freight not sure how long will it last so far it's good it will stop on the and it will kick back on on the 70 let's see It's a too quick, the fridge compressor sometimes kick back on after <coughs> two to five minutes. So there's, a, there's nothing wrong with it, it's a normal. But when you airbrushing it takes a while to drain the air so whenever it's uh, reached to the Yes, I is supposed to kick back on, it will kick back on, so that's, that's all right, so there's nothing wrong with that. So now I want to show you what's the This is just the rubber, just uh, even from the oil uh, wet on the edges because I've cut the top off. You will see the oil on the edges. If I didn't put that rubber, it's gonna wet all over the edges. You will see that. See, that's why I put this on and uh, to keep it from the vibration. And uh, gonna, it's gonna be noisy a little bit. So this is the way I check the oil. There it goes. So like uh, what I was talking about earlier about this um, intake here is just nothing in inside see just the hole on the wall of the compressor and uh, extend it with the tubing on the outside so basically these two and this very much the same so it's not a bad idea I just put the two uh, filters 
they're all the same except this one here this is the one that has the tube inside um, inside the compressor that's the one that uh, air blowing out very snugly okay let's hear it again without the rubber uh, you can hear the sound is uh, a little bit louder than it was because it's the vibration on the edges This is the electrical connection. The cable I just uh, connected straight to the electrical connection inside it. So there's no twisted wire, no soldering, no electrical taping involved. So everything just straight from here to the electrical connection. Make it look nice. Okay, I guess that's all. So what it is, and uh, the cost about the used compressor with the broken gasket for twenty bucks, and uh, get this for nothing. But I had to spend thirty five dollar to get the refrigerant recovered so i had to do it the right way and uh, the feeling was a little bit nightmare because uh, it's not that easy to find the right feeling since this uh, tubing is uh, smaller than the one on the tank so i had to figure it out to make it Worked so finally I found something that uh, exactly the same from end to end. Then I put it on. I will solder this. And uh, the paint is just the automotive paint urethane paint it's a two-part paint so it's just about it well i 
like it though. So uh, roughly cost altogether about uh, more or less around hundred thirty dollars, and uh, I got what I wanted. This is my first time selling compressor. So that's for what I do on the on my side work. This is my pen kit airbrushes. There's the pen all inside. There you go. So that's what I do. I don't do airbrush for full time no let's do that on the weekend and uh, night time sometimes this is my portfolio something like that and those are my ever sign Okay, it's just about it. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, send me an email if you want to ask any question. I'll try to answer them. Bye-bye.